Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. On today's show, we are really living up to our name. Right, we always do. We're designing spaces. That's right. But today, we are taking familiar spaces around the house mm -hmm. and completely, I mean completely, redesigning them. Exactly. I know. I was there for most of them. She does work very hard. Our very <laughs> own Debbie Marie saw the transformation of, uh -huh. get this, a garage, a patio, a bedroom. Oh, and there's more, but but we'll let that be a surprise. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Okay, your first space to design, near and dear to my heart, the garage. Yes, you know, everyone thinks of the garage as a boring space, but a little transformation of the floor changes everything. Take a look. You take pride in your home. You're a bit of a do-it-yourself type and enjoy making the upgrades that not only bring you personal satisfaction, but contribute to your property's value and curb appeal. Your home is beautiful, except for the garage floor. Not only is the concrete boring to look at, over the years it's built up a collection of stains and strange marks. You've cleaned it, perhaps painted or sealed it, but it never seems as nice as the rest of the house. Designing Spaces thought it was time to do a garage floor makeover. And we're here at Amy Dennis's house and she's looking for a clean and unique look for her garage. Now what would be your dream garage, Amy? Well, typically the garage is used for cars, but my children love to come out in the garage and play. And of course, my husband's workshop's in here, so we were looking for something a little more unique. Okay, well Designing Spaces has the perfect solution for mm -hmm. you, and it's a do-it-yourself solution that not only is going to save you time and money, which we all want, but it's also going to give you that clean and unique look you're searching for. And we have a surprise for you today. This is Kelly Mortensen, and he's with Flooring Adventures. Kelly, welcome to Hi Designing Kelly. Spaces. Hi. This is Amy. Nice to meet you. Now, nice to see you. And Kelly has a wonderful flooring material with us today, and it's going to be wonderful for our floor makeover. So let's talk about Tough Seal. Well, Tough Seal tile is a flexible PVC tile. But what's very unique is our hidden interlock system. It's just an overlap and tap it together type. We have a male and a female channel. When put together, it's totally hidden, but makes it totally watertight from the top also. Hmm. Because it's an interlock system, we don't require any adhesives or glues. Essentially, we're just going to sweep the floor and lay it down. Kelly, does Tough Seal come in any other colors? We've got 14 different colors okay. and three different oh, designs oh, wow. that are available. Wow. This. Okay, so you got plenty to choose from. Hmm. Yeah, so, now keep in mind that you can mix and match any of the colors of any uh, oh, particular design. So wonderful. if you want to do a checkerboard pattern or uh, racing stripes or whatever you want to do, That's we, can, neat. we so can accommodate. I really that. like the light gray, but then I was looking at the dark gray. Well, so mix got them the together. opportunity to have both. <laughs> we could do a checkerboard pattern or we could yeah. do it in stripes, whatever you'd like. Again, what I mentioned was the flexibility of the tough seal tile. So it will conform to sub floor imperfections and irregularities, uh, and it's very quiet underfoot. Yeah. Mm. Where if you take our competitive type products that are rigid polypropylene materials, they're not flexible, they're not going to conform. Oh, wow. So Listen. they're very noisy when you Same walk difference. on them. Make a right. clack, clack, clack sound. Wow, that's also, weird. our joint is watertight from the top, where mm -hmm. these are not. They're just a straight seam, so any moisture or water is going to go right down underneath the tile. Told you we had the perfect material for your floor here today. I agree. Okay, so we pick the color. How do we get started? Well, we just start right up at the front and work our way back. I say let's do it. Okay, let's All go. All right. What's really nice about Tough Seal Tile in your garage is that because we're not using any adhesives, we can move all of the items that are in the garage to the back side of the garage, install the front section, and then move the items from the back onto the tile, and then finish the installation. All right, Kelly, how do we start? Well, first thing we want to do, we're going to start from the overhead doors and work our way back because okay. this is going to be the focal point when you're coming into the garage. So we want this the most attractive looking. And we're going to snap a chalk line across the front of the doors to ensure that we got a straight line to start with. And then we're going to measure out from that chalk line 20 inches and we're going to snap another chalk line. You just overlap them like this. Make sure that that little tab is lined up. You're just going to take a rubber mallet. Tap it together, it's done. And we're just going to repeat that 200 times and we're done. Okay. 
It would take an awful lot to damage tough seal tile, but if you ever did, it's really easy to pull a piece up and slip another one right back in. All it really takes, just take a utility knife, get in the corner, lift it up, and you basically unzip it like this. Pull the tile out, slide another one right back in. Get it lined up, tap it. That's all there is to it. All right, Kelly, we did really good so far, but now we've come to a problem because we have this obstruction here on the floor. How do we go around that? Oh, it's really simple. All we're going to do is take measurements from the corners of the tile to whatever the obstacle is you want to cut down, and we're going to transfer that measurement to our tile. Well, the girls did a great job finishing up the floor. Thank you. Now, the last thing we got to do is put down our reducer strip at the uh, at the doorways. Okay. Or we would use this any place where the tile's going down to nothing, you know, just as a ramp. Uh, the flange of the, of the uh, reducer strip is just going to tuck underneath the tile, and we're going to glue it to the bottom side of the tile so it floats as the tile floats. Okay. okay? Well, we did a good job. We sure did. So what do you think of your new garage? It's incredible. It's an easy do-it-yourselfer, and I can't mm -hmm. wait till the husband gets home to yeah. see what he has to say Isn't about it. Isn't it nice that you were able to do this without him? Yes. You know, and then when he comes home, he's going to love his new workshop. He's going to be absolutely amazed. Wonderful. Well. Kelly, thank you so much. We did a it's good a job because you of sure you. Did. Thank you, sure you for did. all your help. Kelly, after everyone sees this amazing transformation, they're going to want some information on Tough Steel. So where can they go? Well, the easiest thing would be to go to our website, which is toughsealtile.com. It's T-U-F-F-S-E-A-L-T-I-L-E.com. Well, thank you so Wonderful. much for being a part of Designing Spaces uh, and was my thank pleasure. you for helping us transform Amy's garage. We appreciate it. Great. I say we worked hard. Let's go get a glass of nice cold lemonade. Sounds, Sounds good. good. We me. deserve it. Yeah, yes. we do. Let's go. <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time.